So when we place this bit on, we put it on just like any ordinary bit that you would put on. Like I say, this is the first time this horse has had the compass horse bit on before, so we're going to show what a horse does when they're first introduced to it. And it's so unusual to them because they've never experienced anything like this. In the patented concept, the paddles are called protrusions, so that's what we're going to refer to them today as protrusions. They sit on the inside corner of the mouth. The main thing is, is to look into the horse's mouth see where the bit is located at. The best way to have this is just simply to have the snaffle touching the skin in the corner of the mouth. So this is probably one too much. Now in my head stall, you'll be able to see that I've got holes real close together, and that's the adjustment that makes this bit work. So then I come back over here, change this. Like I say, I've got numerous holes that make the adjustments. So to introduce this to a horse, step one, simply put it on. At step two, I'll stand to the side of them. I'll put my hand on the base of the neck just simply to keep their feet from moving. And I'll introduce the paddle, the protrusion, to the inside of the mouth. So if we call this compass horse training, anything that looks between his ears is north. So when I say left, what left really means is to take it to the west, in this case. So you can see how the ring is pulling out to the side. And the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to capture the eye. Now when the horse softens, just simply release the pressure. So the way to first introduce this to a horse is to come out to the west. Reorganizing his feet so that it can fit the movement up front in the head. So again, take the slack out, put a little bit of pressure of the protrusion against the inside cheek. And the key, to, the key to making all this work is just to allow it to do its thing. That's the design. When that horse softens in the muscle, obviously the horseman releases the pressure. Now let me explain a few things here. The compass horse bit is the only bit on the market that controls the inside eye with the inside corner of the mouth. When I take a hold of the left rein, it connects the eye. All other bits will connect on the opposite side of the face, so the eye looks on the opposite way as where the pressure is. In this case, left means left, right means right. Let me also explain that all the nerve endings in the horse's head here run to the corner of the mouth. The muscle in the corner of the horse's mouth is called zygomaticus. When the zygomaticus is soft, that's because the eye goes first to the head and the muscle relaxes and follows the directions that he's being led to, just like that. Now I really want to emphasize here, this bit does not rely on fear tactics or intimidation. 
this bit simply works because of the value of the design of this bit. When the zygomaticus muscle is soft, is because the eye, head, and the release in the corner of the mouth of the nerve endings are all going the same direction. So if I place it here again, that's all it takes. The neat thing about today is that we're putting it on an older horse who's been in a lot heavier bits and uh, pressure bits, but the compass horse bit will refresh the horse's mouth. And that's what I was trying to demonstrate is you could go back and reset his mindset, if you will, and freshen his mouth up, simply going back to the foundation. So we've got it here. So now we'll simply step over and do the other side. Now in this case, because we have changed sides, we want to put the protrusion against the inside corner of the mouth. I'm going to reach to where east would be on the compass. So if I come straight out here, that protrusion fits right against the corner of the mouth. The zygomaticus muscle, you'll see the ears are forward here, the eyes are focused forward, there. Right there demonstrated the connection of this bit with the horse's eye. So what's critical in horse development and getting the foundation on a young horse and also keeping it in a show horse or a trail horse, a ride horse, a use horse, is when you touch the right corner of the mouth, is to have the right eye go with it. That is critical. This is the only bit designed to capture the eye, head, and the corner of the mouth all on the same side with the inside rein. So right here I'm leading to the east, and you can see that it does not take any more pressure than that. So I, I look at it as a two-step principle. First I run my hand down and shorten the rein, now I come out to the east. I don't come out here, I go down and across. Now I feel tension in the corner of the mouth, I feel resistance, see his head going to the left. He's looking for the release, well that's where it was the last time. So I just hold it steady, steady, and when I feel him release, then I turn loose. side. Now here comes his right ear. His right ear for me. There's the right ear. There's resistance in the corner of the mouth. So the secret to get the most out of the compass horse bit is to simply wait. Let the bit do what it's designed to do and that's to soften the nerve endings going into the zygomaticus muscle right there. Now what's so unique, so cool, and so sophisticated about this bit is when this horse softens, it changes their attitude. There. So you can take a horse that's defiant, nervous, upset. When they give to the compass horse bit, it changes their attitude. It changes from defiant to willing. Now all of a sudden, I felt him change standing on his inside front foot to the outside front foot. Now he's staying right there. So again, I wait for the right ear to come back, right there, right there, right there. Now we've got left that runs the left eye, we've got right that runs the right eye. I'll put him in motion, and we'll do it while his feet are in motion.
time I release that rain that his head goes straight so he's ready for another application there we go the amazing part about doing this all trying to figure out how to lower the head net, how to get a horse to be softer. So by them flexing their head either east or west will clearly demonstrate that they'll start to drape their head a little more and stay more relaxed. Now there's a change in the breathing pattern. How many of us are aware of the breathing pattern in the horse? This horse just had a change in his breathing pattern, which means there's a change in his attitude, and there's a softness that he didn't have five minutes ago. So we put three positions in the horse's mouth. We put the upper corner, the bottom corner, or the middle. There's the right eye, there's the left eye, take the top corner and bottom, but if I want him to flex, then I just come straight back. And once the horse is soft on the right zygomaticus, the left zygomaticus, it's amazing, they will flex in the pole. What I like to do when I take the bit off, is I'll lengthen the head stall a couple of holes because they like this bit so much they take their tongue and they lift that to the top of their mouth like a horse is supposed to carry it. So if I lengthen the head stall, that'll loosen it in his mouth, left ear, right ear, and then let the tongue guide that through the teeth, just like that. The secret to bridling a horse is the way it comes off.